let's just get some food. Let's get some food. That'll make us feel better yeah. temporarily when we cry about our V12 <laughs> dreams. Yeah. I feel like crying. Dude, I feel like crying for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That sounded really fake, but I actually am sad for you. This is lame. What is up guys, welcome to the SL YouTube channel and you join me under this fine blue sky on a freezing cold afternoon at SB Race Engineering in Aylesbury. Behind me, my RWS Spider or Audi's RWS Spider in Atomic Teal is behind me and inside there is my Lamborghini LP640. Now the story behind why it is not at Dub Customs and why it is here is the reason for this video because I dropped the Lamborghini off to Dub Customs on the 1st of September with the idea and intention of collecting it on the 15th of September all to tie in perfectly with cars and coffee at Topaz driving it into London for the first time and showing you guys however there were a few delays which were unfortunate but I said to Dub Customs right from the get-go I do not want to put any pressure on the deadline of this car because it is unique it is fragile and I don't want anything broken on the car the car was there for three weeks, and in that time, um, a coolant hose broke, which I suppose is the joys of owning a modern classic supercar, something that Sam from Seen Through Glass knows oh so well. So Dub Customs temporarily fixed it with a rubber coolant hose, which is definitely not something that I should be doing. It was a shame because I really wanted to do some driving videos and launch the wrap and the new look in all of its glory and drive it on the road and show you guys just how cool this thing looks on the road. Unfortunately, that is not gonna happen and we missed a week with the delays that Dub Customs had. It wasn't just the coolant hose, there are a few other delays with the vinyl and stuff. I actually went down to Dub Customs last Saturday with the intention of filming it with Parker from Vehicle Virgins. I was very, very, very excited about it, so much so that I was, I was filming a video. <laughs> no, put the window back on quick so that the audio is a lot better for the video. For the last five to six days, we've been filming a ton of different stuff going into London. I've had a few meetings, but my week this week was aimed around having the Lamborghini Murcielago. Ah! <laughs> um, yeah, car's not done. <laughs> Uh, today, Zenith Vehicle Management have trucked the car from Dove Customs and it is in there. So let's go and check out how cool my Lamborghini looks. The guys at Dub Customs, in the three weeks that they've had the car, have now nailed the wrap. It looks incredible. Let's go inside, check it out, and I will show you around some of the things that the Dub Customs boys have done. Sure, where's the door slammer? Barry? Oh, he's in the toilet. <laughs> Barry, I need you to come and slam my door again. <laughs> here we are at SB, the very, very echoey place. Normally there's music here, the atmosphere isn't normally this dead, and it is usually a little bit more, well, it is busy, but there's normally not more work going on, but it is 5.30 in the, uh, are you technically shut now? Technically, yeah, but we don't really shut. No, because, Two Gallardos up there, the 488 race car, it's a 430 down there, the 360, that looks like Sam's 360, but it's not, but it looks like it. And then a 355 Berlinetta there, but yeah, here it is. Here is the closest thing that we can find to Grigio Telesto, Lamborghini Murcielago LP640. And the guys at Dub Customs now on the finished product look so good. The only thing that I'm not too sure about are the tinted headlights. I'm not a fan of the darkened headlights. This was a Dub Customs idea that they could potentially reduce the condensation look on the headlights, but in fact, it's made the front end of the car a lot darker. There is also no front number plate, which is gonna change, but the color is so good. This is actually exactly the same vinyl that I used 
on the C63. There is no electric blue. In fact, we have gone for Giallo Midas, which is a triple pearlescent yellow from Lamborghini. And I believe it is a silver coating, a yellow coating and something else, which gives it that pearl effect. And the guys at Dub Customs have done that in-house. And looking around the car, we've got a black Lamborghini badge back there now. And seeing this car in my dream spec with my number plate on is, is quite, it's taking a little while just to get used to because this is this is now everything that I dreamed of. This colour came from filming an exact Grigio Telesto LP640 in London. It was the car that me and Zach always wanted to see because it sounded good. The driver always floored it, which meant that we get better videos. But it was Grigio Telesto, the colour that I fell in love with. So when I picked the white car up, of course, it's the dream car. It looks amazing on the road. It drives incredible. But now it is in that spec, the Batman spec. It is now all of my dreams coming true. And it is now at SB Race Engineering for three things. Here we are. Grigio Telesto in Lamborghini terms is actually a metallic paint. There is a metallic fleck to it. But for us to try and recreate that in vinyl wrap is near on impossible because we can, we can go with this Nardo Grey effect and you can get these this sort of clear, sparkly vinyl that we could have laminated this over, but I was nervous that it would have been a little bit too sparkly and I would have ended up having a sparkly Lamborghini. So we actually went for a bog standard vinyl wrap in Nardo Grey, exactly the same as the C63. But if you check out the brake calipers, they're in this really, really smart pearl effect, which I don't actually think Lamborghini did from factory. Or if they did, it was a very, very op expensive optional extra. Dub Customs also refurbished all of the wheels so they're glossier, they're shinier. All of the plastics in the wheel arches have been taken away, refreshed. It's a kind of had a mini restoration. If you look at the wing mirrors as well, they are super, super shiny. There is no additional tints. I don't know whether these headlights are gonna be legal. They're a little bit too dark. Yes, they get rid of some of the condensation which you would have seen up here, but when you look at it from the front, it doesn't look OEM, it doesn't look factory. It looks like it's been modified a little bit. Maybe with the number plate that will change, but not a fan of the headlights. They've also spruced up this plastic here. They've made this a little bit shinier, so everything looks that little bit newer. I'm absolutely loving checking out all of the little details that this car has had done to it. We've also got the bat wings down. Barry has very kindly asked me to turn the bat wings down so that he can work on it. Are you happy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yep, we've also got a gloss black Lamborghini badge. And that concludes, I believe, everything that has happened to the exterior of the car. That's definitely a 430 outside. Okay, now. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with me on what I am about to show you. This is a Dub Customs idea. I'm not convinced on, the guys at SB aren't convinced on, um, but they thought that they would take the gray and yellow to the next level. Now I've got carbon side plates or kick plates here. Um, let me know what you think of this. They have managed to wrap the Murcielago branding in yellow to match the brake calipers. Now, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. So you're gonna to have to let me know in the comments whether you are. So then, I think whilst I am at SB Race Engineering and whilst my car is at SB Race Engineering, probably the right time to explain what is going on with this car. I briefly explained when I bought this car up and we got it up on the ramp, that when I bought that car, the clutch wear was at around 75 to 80%. So VVS had the car in and obviously over time, whether it's been test drives or whether they've just been driving it to run it, the clutch has slowly worn to 80%. That means it's due a clutch. But as part of my very, very successful negotiation skills, I managed to get VVS to pay for the clutch because it's a very, very expensive replacement on that car. Meaning that I bought this car and a clutch basically, and the guys at SB are gonna be doing that. So at the moment, this is running a clutch of around 80%. So it's only got about 20% left of wear, which in some cases can be less than 2000 miles, but hopefully 
with these guys working on it, we can get an additional 15 to 20,000 miles out of a brand new Lamborghini clutch. So that is a huge job. The engine has to come out and I'm gonna be hopefully documenting as much of that process as possible, or at least showing you where the clutch is, showing you the procedure. I'm gonna help Barry help get the engine out. I'm not sure how much help I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna be there as his right hand man to help him get the V12 6.5 litre engine out on that car. The second bit of work that's happening is we are taking the exhaust off that and then the exhaust is being shipped over to Brook Race Exhaust so that he can scan it in, CAD design up an even lighter, more free flowing exhaust system for that car meaning it's gonna scream. So right now, running stock, it does sound good. It sounds really nice. It's got a nice tone to it all the way through the rev range. It's smooth, it's crisp, and at the top end, it's got this really high-pitched howl. But I believe with an in-canal Brook Race exhaust system, we can go one better. So I'm still umming and ahhing about what the setup is gonna be, whether it's gonna be D-cats, whether it's gonna be sports cats, whether I'm gonna be doing the headers just yet, or whether I'm just gonna be doing the back box, but I wanna go crazy. So the work that these guys are doing are really, really important to the car. Not only that, they're also gonna be replacing the very, very small, minute 11 pound coolant hose that got brittle at Dub Customs. So basically this coolant hose runs hot and cold very, very quickly it's quite a common problem that they start to get brittle and break off but it was actually quite good that it broke at dub customs and not whilst i was driving because if it did break whilst i was driving and coolant leaked everywhere then that car could have caught fire that's just one of the things that scares the living daylights out of me driving a car like that 10 years old and you've got coolant pipes going brittle and potentially that thing could go up in flames i know that it's only a wrap and we've got the brake calipers with a slight little change and things like that. So it isn't actually a big deal because wrapping in the automotive YouTube space is quite a common thing. But this is really important to me. It's really special to me that now not only do I have my dream car, I've got it looking how I was imagining owning my dream car. Grigio Telesto, yellow brake calipers, gloss black Hamira wheels. But now the car is here. Whilst it's at SB Race Engineering, I've got some very, very exciting travel plans. I'm gonna be heading out to America. More on that in another video. But for now, that is my car, my dream car in my dream spec. And now it's gonna be at SB Race Engineering having all of the work done. So once it comes out of here, that's it. No more work, just me being able to enjoy my car and I'm going to be finding almost every single tunnel I can possibly find in Europe. Things are about to get ridiculous and I would just like to thank all of you for tuning in. Thank you all for being so patient. I wasn't as patient as some of you guys. Um, it was quite difficult getting a lot of delays from Dub Customs, but the finished product is awesome. I'm so glad with the work that they've done and I'm just very, very happy to have the car back but it's just gonna be now at SB Race Engineering for another three to four weeks. So thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's a shame that this car isn't moving, but there are important reasons as to why it is not moving. I will see you very soon for the next video, which I believe will involve prices of the clutch, and it will also involve me, for the first time, getting my hands dirty mechanically trying to help Barry get the engine out of this car. So I will see you soon guys, take care, goodbye.